You can import files that aren't inherent to BioRender. For example, a histology image, a microscopy slide, a photograph, perhaps a logo, even data. You can import into your BioRender figure as long as it's a JPEG, PNG, or SVG file type. To do this, navigate over to the Uploads tab on the left, click on the blue button here called Upload Files, and what that will do is it'll open up your desktop and you can select the image to import into your file. You can give your image a name and simply click Upload. You can see here that it's now populated into my Uploads library, so I can now drag it out into my figure, resize, and incorporate it that way. Great. Now there's another way you can actually import files into BioRender, and that's by simply right-clicking on anywhere on your desktop or browser. So for example, in this Google search result for cirrhotic liver, I'm going to right-click and copy this image, and now be sure to uh, reference your files and images appropriately. And what I can do now is simply Command-V on a Mac or Control-V on a PC to paste right into the browser. So there you go. Upload. So exact same method, and you can see here that it's actually inputted into the diagram itself. And I believe those are JPEG format. You can also incorporate data, as I mentioned. So I'm going to go ahead and upload a file that I have exported from GraphPad Prism in the form of a PNG file. So I'm going to open that as well. Data one upload. And it is a PNG file. So if I were to drag this out now into my figure, you'll notice that it does maintain that PNG or transparent background. You can see it's kind of got that see-through look to it. Great. And that's how I would upload files into your BioRender figure.